Okay, young people, I wanted to put out a very short video just to help everybody with a scratch RAM. First, let me apologize for not clearly identifying this addition to the uh, Trammel Blaze processor, but in the hierarchy inside the Trammel Blaze now, we have the scratch RAM that we can use to put data into. Just a little bit of insight when you look down at the instantiation of the memory. Let me see if I can find it before too long. Here you can see the ports. So there's a clock, there's a write enabled, an address. So the address is what's key to knowing how to create it. So let me do a search for the address. I'm going to go back up. And I can see it's 9 bits. So 5 bits, 32, 64, 128. So this should be a 256. Let's look at the implementation. Let me select that guy again core generation, come look at the model, see so yeah, 9 bits on the address. So we need to create a RAM with a 9-bit address. So that's what we're going to do right now. So 9-bit address would be 512. So now let's go ahead and go back here to our project. We're going to say new source. You have already got it, but we'll just do it. We're going to say scratch RAM. It's a memory. We want RAMs and ROMs. We're going to do the block memory generator. Let's finish up. That should fire off. So now here we are. Scratch RAM, block memory generator. Next want to make sure it's a single port RAM. Everything else looks good. Our width is 16 bits. Our depth is going to be 512 locations. So we have a 512 location deep, 16 bit wide RAM. These selections can stay exactly where they are. We're not loading a NIT file. It's not a ROM. It's a RAM. Chosen not to reset it, so it comes up random. And so now we can say generate. So now it's creating. It takes a little while. I'll stay with you long enough for it to fire up. Notice now, since I'm playing with it, I've lost my reference to my scratch RAM. When the build is finished and everything is happy again, that question mark should turn into a light bulb as well. So I hope that we're playing with it. I'm happy to get some inquiries from the students. It lets me know that you're playing with it. Uh, again, let me emphasize that the project that we did replacing the counter, you pretty much were able to do with the code that I gave you. 
Uh, so we all should be developing our own code at this point in time. Uh, the bug I'm working on, since we're here, I'll chat a little bit about it. Is and I don't know if this is going to work. It may croak. So something's up. I got to revisit it. But it, if all goes well, that should pop in right there. So uh, that's the information you need to recreate a scratch RAM or to create a scratch RAM. Uh, let me say that for the Pico blade, the trammel blades right now, where I'm having a little bit of trouble is if I have too many interrupts. So we were able to use it fairly successfully with a single interrupt. Uh, right now, since we're riding the transmit engine, we're pulling the UART interrupt should not be coming into play. So up to this point in time, everything else on the trammel blades appears to be a go. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please uh, do your best to keep up in class. And we'll talk to you soon.